Hello everybody, my name is Amira Got Skills and today I am just showing you some games and my headset because it was my birthday yesterday and I thought why not do it and I just wanted to show a few games and my headset that I got yesterday so let's begin to the games, let's get to the games right, this is Burnt Out Paradise now if you, if you like racing games then basically this is a good game because you base no one's in the car. You can't get out of the car. You're just basically a car itself. No one's in the car, like not a person. Um, you're no no one no one is like walking around on pavements or anything, and it's it's just it's just basically cars. And you can free roam. You can do challenges. You can do missions, and basically it's just a spectacular game. So there's a few sort of things. So. If you are a racing fan, then that game is really good for you. So, here's Sean White skateboarding. Now, if you if you are a skateboarding fan, and you like Sean White, Tony Hawk, and like other people, then basically Sean White is a good skateboarder. But like, you don't really do many tricks in this game, and it's a bit like Skate Free. All you do is like just ride on your skateboard. You can't do many tricks. Um. But see, transform is your world. Transform your world. Sorry, I can't even read today. Jesus. Um, and yeah, it's just a really nice decoration. And basically, it's it's a it's a twelve. But it's not not worth it. I think I think sometimes it's I think it's a bit like skate free. If you knock into people, like they swear at you or something. I I don't know. Um, I haven't played it for so long. But yeah, good skateboarding game if you are a skateboarding fan. Now here we got Black Ops 2. Now Black Ops 2 is very violent. It's an 18. And if you look on the back, there's zombies, there's multiplayer, there's campaign. This game is full of full of fun basically. And it is an 18. It's a bit violent. Bit sort of I get I guess I guess you could say it can be can be scary at times for like little kids. Um because there is zombies and if you do go on zombies you, you can get oh sorry. You can get fire zombies and everything. It's it's quite bad for like seven year olds. Um, po I I would say it's quite bad for people up to ten, at least. Kids up to ten. Um, but it's yeah, it's just a really cool game. Campaign is really cool, and multiplayer you can get really cool guns on it. And zombies you can get a ray gun, which is the sickest gun on there. Um, so yeah, Black Ops 2, if you're a fan of gun games and violent games, then this is the one. So, nice decoration there. Really, really, it's really nice graphics too. So, sometimes it lags a bit, but it's, it's, it's like, what can you do? Every game lags. And here we have Tony Hawk's Project 8. Again, if you are a skateboarding fan, and you like Tony Hawk especially, then this is awesome. It's all about, basically... Um, just get getting ready, getting prepared for is um is Project Eight basically, and um as you can see on the back, you can do all sorts of tricks, see, and um you can jump over a policeman. I never knew that. Yeah, but you when you go, you I don't think you go on the road straight away. I am going it straight away, but it's just really cool game. You got um, you see, so real. You don't just skip it; you feel it. Sorry, that was a bit sort of weird. Um, but yeah, this this game, skateboarding game, this Tony Hawk's Project A. If you are a skateboarding fan, then this one is probably the best skateboarding game ever. I I don't know, maybe maybe second best if you like skate skate free skate skate two and skate one. But I would say that one's qu quite good. Ah, now here we have skate free. And um, so sorry for any background noises. Um. And basically, this game is just you can't really do much in this. You can you can do you can um like go to like skate parks, go go um where where like ramps are and everything. It's quite it's quite good. You you can jump on it. I don't even know how to jump and do like three sixties on your skateboard. Um, but it's not it's not that it's not. Basically, it's not filled with loads of skills. Basically. It's it's just got it says up there team up throw down you can call people and um you can sort of like do a little battle and throw down basically see that's what he's doing he's throwing down 
so yeah pretty good game pretty good skateboarding game so far um i, f I don't know if they're gonna bring out skate 4 if they if they um do i'll be the first one to buy it um but yeah good game 16 i didn't even know why oh yeah um also if you run into like old people like really old people because they because you can get a park and they they're like ru running around no not running around they're like walking around but if you like barge into them then they get a gun out like and ta a taser gun just taser you it's really it's really annoying but really funny it's just so weird um so yeah skate free not bad at all um now oh this game is the best game ever minecraft xbox 360 edition now this game i will be playing probably like 24 7 it is such a cool game and yeah see unleash your imagination i've done that like six billion times i've got like loads of worlds and it's sponsored by mojang um or created by mojang i forgot and um yeah it's just a really cool game um and if you've never heard of um minecraft um i rest my case i i that that guy that that's Steve. That's all I'm gonna say. If you don't have Minecraft, that guy's Steve. But if you don't have Minecraft, then that is just weird. Cause basically everybody likes Minecraft, and every time I go on PC Minecraft, everybody like when I go on to um the Hive MC, that is just so packed for hide and seek. It's just a really cool game. Ah, now here we have Watchdogs. Basically hacking 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 that's all hap that's all that happens in this game it's just hack full of hack and um see hacking is our weapon i rest my keys i rest my keys watchdogs hacking so yeah pretty cool game if you're into like games that like have guns again like a bit it's not like call of duty guys and it's not like gta basically it's it's you can get in cars but if you if somebody sees you get in cars like break it down then they will call the police and that is not good so and also you can do first mission by the way my tv is so rubbish um because the brightness ain't up it's really dark and you do lo loads of dark missions on watchdogs because you need to um like hack people but they they you you don't like they can't they can't see you so you do it at dark time night time See, it's really annoying my TV, but if you have like a really good TV and you want to do hacking missions and like do like um like side missions, then this is the game that you you want to play. See, like that's that's like a hacking person there. See that like sort of thing around it. That's c and that phone. That's because he's ha he's hacking him basically. So that's that's this game is full of hacks. So yeah. And now we got Test Drive Unlimited 2. Now there is a Test Drive Unlimited 1. Um but this Test Drive Unlimited 2, I would say it's a lot better cuz it's it's still quite cheap. It's pre it's pretty cheap cuz it only came out like what like a few a, a few months ago or something. And um it's just a really cool game. Get really good cars you get look see really good cars. Really good car there. And, um, basically, this time, it's not like Burnt Out Paradise, this time you're in a car, but I don't know if you get out, I don't know if you can get out, I don't think it's like GTA, you get in a car and then straight away you can get out if you want to, because this, this one, you do missions, like race missions and everything, um, but I'm pretty sure you can't get out in, like, a middle of a mission, but yes, it's, it's alright, so if you are a racing fan, I, I would say, it's, a, it's okay for you, I would say. Um, also, Test Drive Unlimited 1 is pretty good too, um, so, I, I would say, I would say this one could be a bit better, I, do, I don't know, because I, I haven't played Test Drive Unlimited 1 for ages, I remember I sold it, but, yeah, but this, this one is pretty cool, um, so moving along, here's FIFA 11, now this game obviously came out in 2011, um, and it's old, and new, pretty much no one wants to play it anymore because it's old and now fifa 15's out and fifa 14 has literally just gone under the bus basically because everybody wants to buy fifa 15 i'm probably gonna get fifa 15 um record for you guys but i don't really know yet because this it's just it's just time when i get time that's yeah that's the only thing i'm worried about so yeah if you are a football fan then get all the fifas i would say but this one is pretty cool 
and it's it's no different like it's basically the same as FIFA 12 just a bit different like like a bit different well t t-shirts wise different and just like teams they've they've um like changed teams a bit so yeah moving along here's Saints Row the full package now full package basically Saints you can get Saints Row the third just normal and you can get Saints Row the third full package now this game it includes more than 40 pound in bonus content so basically you get like t tanks you get like helicopters and you get like boats and it's just a really cool game um but you could get you could get saints row on xbox 360 because it was you could get it for free because it was games with gold recently and it's just a really cool game it's, it's an 18 though and that that sign there um th what's that q or question mark or something yeah that is a um car in the game it's really rare you get you get it on like the front and it's really rare to find it in the game but it's like really cool and it's re you can customize it and when you customize it it looks really sick um but yeah you get one sim similar but it doesn't have that at the front so i'm going to keep my eyes open and i will record for this game I'll, I'll probably record for all the games um but yeah now here is sim city sim city 3000 um now this game is basically when you build on it you, that's all pretty much you do build on it and it's just a really cool game, really nice and really good decoration. And you just build, you just build. It's it's not like Minecraft. You you buy, you buy like building walls and everything. Uh, it's basically basically like Sim Sims Three or Sims Four. Basically, you just buy, you just um like get the um like walls out and then you just um start building. So yeah, that was Sims City, and I'm gonna record that. Um, now we got my headset. Now this headset, I really enjoy it. It's a EX05 military style headset. Now I got this yesterday because it was my birthday yesterday. And speaking of which, if you didn't see my last two videos, um, the Roxia review and the Roxia unboxing, then basically I would suggest that you go and watch that first. Um, but yeah, this this is a military style headset and it's just really cool you got really nice net in here and it's just a really nice headset um and it's really good gaming headset too and a really nice mic there so yeah you can speak now louder and you can hear um now this is like the box this is like the controlling thing you get your sound you get your mute in see so mute the thing will go red when it's mute and it's just a re if you are a gamer and you play for like ps3 or xbox 360 this headset is for you it's, it's only for ps3 and xbox 360 so yeah um and i just got a normal controller and yeah so that's basically it guys and i just wanted to show you a few things a few games that i might be recording on and yeah basically um i just wanted to show you my xbox and yeah, so if you did enjoy this video, then please comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, and also, please leave a suggestion if you would like me to play some, what games you would like me to play, and if you want me to do some more reviews. So, yeah, thanks for watching again, guys. Remember to subscribe. And, yeah, thanks for watching, and goodbye.